The Sheffield Steelers have won two of their last three home games in overtime, but that's not possible tonight as it's back to cup action and the first leg of their quarter-final clash with the Five Flyers. Cole Shudra and Brandon Whistle have been added to the roster in the absence of Justin Hodgman, John Armstrong and Tanner Eberle. Evan Mosey moves to the second line and Barry Bruss gets his first home start in over a month. Back up top. Schultz shoots. Again, the Flyers get a good block on it. Schultz, Valorand, they're keeping such a close watch on Valorand, they're not giving him room at all. I'm going to swap things over now, see if he can get more success in the centre. Oh, and the save was made again by Owen, and once more it got away from Sointu. Valorand back on the near side. Dowd waits, top of the far circle. Valorand moves through, takes the shot and hits the crossbar. Dowd has forced his way onto it. Down! Scores five hole. Wow, the you pressure can see was building. building. Yeah, you can see it building. Sheffield did a fantastic job moving the puck around. They're a little bit more aggressive this time. Shots raining in. You know, give give five top guys credit. You know, got in front of two or three shots that Valorand and Todd were taking. But that one that comes crashing through from Valorand just before this maybe sets up Robert Dowd here to put this on the puck. A nice little retrieval there. Robert Dowd gets his head up there and just sort of beats Owen down to the ice. You can see Owen giving it the old skyscraper look and going, oh, I missed that one himself. But it's a fantastic work there by Sheffield to retrieve pucks and move pucks and, and get it around. A couple of great opportunities. But again, Fife did a pretty good job. Just unfortunate there at the end. Well, as he knocks it down. Trying to twist and turn into a little bit of space and it doesn't work out. He lost his balance and then lost the puck. Stadnik again. Trying to play the pass back, Latal was there. Flyers chop at it, but don't get it. And now it's Whistle. Trying to make the moves, he's done really well, it's Whistle! It's a good save from Owen. What a moment that could have been. Yeah, Whistle going up the ice, doing a nice little move there to get himself around the defenseman. And then going high to the glove side on Owen, I think it hits him in the top of the shoulder. Oh, turnover. Opportunity, Latal centres, Polak, Owen, how about that one? Yeah, I think he wants to, uh, to get that one in the back of the net pretty, pretty bad. Uh, but yeah, Owen doing a good job reading the play here, nice little interception. Owen's there, and then you can see he comes right across, a good push. Glove in the right position, maybe a pop for Polak, that goes in the net, but getting it away in a hurry, Owen's in the right place at the right time, and a good push out towards that puck. Shot from the face-off gets charged down and the Flyers will try and profit. Benson trying a hopeful rush forwards. Got support from his colleagues now. The Flyers will try and get this set up. And towards central lane. Side of the goal is an opportunity and Bruss makes the save. Yeah, Bruss read that one as well. Another good play by Fife coming through the middle. The player just pops around the back door and through a seam. Barry Bruss sees it all the way and gets that body and pad down in. Naslin keeps it in the zone, there's an opportunity here. Oh, and it's over the top, hit Todd and went away from goal. Good spell from Fife here on the offensive zone, good pressure. Benson plays it out, here's an opportunity again, Todd's in the way. Flyers getting back onto the puck though, opportunity, Emmerdahl, stick handles, plays it in front and it's covered up by Brust. Yeah, great patches of play there from the Fife players moving through the... Uh, the seams from Sheffield giving themselves some good opportunities. Again, Barry Bruss does get a pad on that, that as it comes through. It is a bit of a deflection up and over. So an excellent opportunity. And here you see him cutting off the seam. And coming to the back post right there. Nice heads up play. And Barry Bruss reads it and gets across and hugs that post. That's all shot. Takes a deflection and goes to the corner. And the Flyers will get it clear. And Benson will gather it in. And he might be able to make something of this. Penalty is over, we're back to full strength. It's still with Benson, He's trying to wrap it around in front. Steelers prevented that particular pass. Five on five play with a little over 12 minutes remaining in this first leg. Traversa, shot comes in, tap in. The easiest possible finish. 
for Matthias Sointu. He's back on the score sheet. Yeah, we said it's just getting yourself in situation, but a good job there by Traversa doing an excellent job. Flying up the ice, and a nice little cutback. Ellerby getting up on the play, releases a good hard shot. And that's just being in the right spot at the right time, cycling yourself through. Not much Owen can do. The, the rebound isn't a long way out off the pads. And you'll see it again here. It's only a foot or so. Whistle does a good job going through, creating that defense and getting out of the way. But again, the fourth player coming up in the line and Sointu just cycling towards the net. And like I say, the rebound was only probably eight inches away from the pad. And Sointu was right there for an open cage. Opportunity here. The shot comes in and Brust has to save it awkwardly. He got up big on him. Plenty of power in it. Brust came well forward in his crease. Nice work from Nasland. Just loses out. Knocked away by Keaton Ellaby. Here's Blumenshine. Switches it across. Jokinen. Held up at the red line. Latal, Mosey, knifing through. Evan Mosey, puck is there. Has he jammed it's it in? in? Yes, he has. Oh, no, no, it's no waved goal. off. It's waved off. The light came on, the fans celebrate, but the signal is no goal, and we will check for netminder interference. Yeah, no, no goal on the ice here, but Evan Mosey does a good job driving the net. We'll have a little look here. Let's see. No goalie interference there at the minute, none whatsoever. Now that's a good goal. That's not goaltender interference in a million years. Never touches him. Not what fight fans want to hear, but you watch how, how Mosey tries to get himself away and out of the play as he as he look, makes his hips open up and, and rotate around. And I can't see any contact whatsoever, but the referee is adamant there. Says it's no goal. Goaltenders union there, I think, with Mr. Good. We'll have a little look here again. Let's see. Where's the goaltender interference? you see any contact? It certainly doesn't look like it from the views we have. No, we'll have a little look here. Let's have a little look and see. Watch. Now, nah, there's, there's, there's no contact whatsoever. He goes through the crease and, and he just stops and, and puts it in five hole. The usual reminder in these situations that the video replays that we are seeing here are not the ones that the officials will see. Here comes the call. Goal given. Point to centre ice from our officials, meaning that Evan Mosey has made it 3-0 to the Sheffield Steelers. They have awarded this opportunity here, sorry, for the Flyers and Brust denies Peacock. I was about to say they've added an additional assist on the Steelers' third goal. I'll tell you about that in a moment, but the Flyers are pressing here. And Brust, who's been a spectator for most of the third period, called into action. And that one is going to be tapped in. There at the back post. The finish comes in from McNicholas. Yeah, the warning shots were fired there on the opportunity is this is a shot pass coming across the high slot as the player bumped up in front quick turn and you can watch it gets knocked down in front of Bruss and then goes back door right there so Barry Bruss has no opportunity to come across he's going for the shot that doesn't get through and Fife making it back here a two goal spread Phil player on the offensive side Five minutes remaining in the third period. And we have something else left in this game. Maybe we do. Robert Dowd! <laughs> and that, that's a great example of why you put pressure no matter what on the ice. You always chase down. He comes from the back side. Defenseman doesn't see him coming. Robert Dowd just comes flying past him. And it's a nice little play here. Goes this side and then goes back and then puts it nicely up over the pad of Shane Owen. Nothing Owen can do. It's really tough up for him to get uh, set up with a player coming without that much speed. And again, a bit of a bobble pass, but they play it through the neutral zone right there. You can see it. The player looks left. Dowd comes right. Or sorry, the other way around. Looks right. Looks. Dowd comes from the left, and then Owen has to be explosive off the line. Right there, you can see he doesn't quite get set. He's still got the happy feet coming out, and 
not much he can do about that. Second of the game, 11th of the season for Robert Dowd and the Steelers are in looking for more. Mosey could save, follow up scores, Polak. The Steelers are running away with this first leg now. It's 5-1. Yeah, it just shows the confidence that you have and this is a great area pass again. Mosey beating the defender to the net. Good shot, hard, low off the pad. And then it's just a follow-up shot. Nothing that Owen can do about that. That's a, a, a shot to the pad to the far side. It bounces perfectly back for a driving player. But the first opening pass is a nice little area pass right there. Area pass to a streaking player. Mosey gets a good hard shot. Maybe look at the same place as Dowd just shot and scored. But there's the follow-up. And thank you very much for another open net. Flyers have it from the face-off. Brust makes another save. Flyers are pressing. Puck played forward. Flyers have got a long way to go. Can they get down for one more shot? Anderson held up by Whistle. It's a 5-1 victory for the Sheffield Steelers in the quarter-final first leg. Their defence of the Premier Sports Challenge Cup is still very much on track. Two goals for Robert Dowd, take him into double figures for the 11th time in his Steelers career. He's off on the eddy. And we have ourselves a flying V. Please don't miss it, Robert. <laughs> Whoops. So much for the hat trick, eh? <laughs> it's the only thing that's really gone wrong for Robert Dowd tonight. But he scored when it mattered. Rob, I think we'll take that scoreline into the second leg in Kakadi next week, won't we? Absolutely. It, uh, it's a tough place to go and play. And uh, they've got a good team, so... To have a little bit of a cushion to go into that building, it's great for us. They, they, they stuck with us for two periods there, but we uh, we stuck to the game plan and uh, it started to pay off in the last period. Does it get frustrating when we're having so much of the play in the early stages and we just couldn't get past Shane Owen? No, it, it does at times, but tonight we, we, we stayed with it. They, they, they were excellent, they blocked a lot of shots and he made some big saves for them, but uh, we broke them down in the third and we started to find those seams and find those openings. Two for you tonight. Yeah, no, that's nice. Nice to get on the score sheet. That second one was a great goal, wasn't it? That was one of the ones that everybody will go home talking about. Yeah, that was nice. I, uh, I, I had plenty of speed behind me. I, I'd come for the, uh, for the support on the wall, and uh, as it got chipped out, I managed to get on the right side of that demon to pop his stick to, uh, to steal it from him. But yeah, I'm happy. From 300 foot up in the air, it's easy to play wing and it's easy to then go centre. But when you have to do it for real, what are the big differences that we don't see that you have to? focus on yeah it's been a while since i played center a few years but uh I, I think i did okay tonight i'm sure i'll be told differently probably in video tomorrow but coach, uh, <laughs> coach was very impressed in okay. his interview was very okay. impressed. Yeah. yeah it's uh it, it's positional a lot of positional obviously a lot on draws it's uh, stuff you got to work on and uh I'll, uh, I'll work on that this week if he, if he requires me to go back in the middle you like being on the puck that's your game do you get more of it at center uh it's just you get it in different areas of the ice so uh on the wing you, you get it more while you're breaking out with speed when center you're getting it low and slow and, and trying trying to find your wingers to pop it out but yeah to be honest uh, i was happy with with our movement and our our whole team's movement today we we held the puck pretty well in the offensive zone we created some good chances and uh we broke them down like i said as we went in the third you scored the two, but you had that great opportunity with an empty net in front of you <laughs> uh, for the Eddie to get the hat trick, and you you hit the glass. What was going through your mind? Well, uh, we, we started the flying V a little too early, and we dropped the passes, and everyone almost went offside. We yeah. meant to hold it all the way until the zone. I think the boys kind of panicked a little bit there, so I kind of give up on the play a little bit. I, I, I take uh, <laughs> take onus on that. And yeah, we've got to hit the net there. Well, you sent, you sent everybody home happy. Congratulations, a great win. Thank you, thank you. Aaron, we'll take that, won't we? Yeah, very pleased with the result. Um, you know, I think going up there next Wednesday, up four, 
you know, it's a clear result for us tonight, and I think that's just, it's a good feeling that we found a way tonight. They, I'll tell you what, they played extremely hard. They blocked an absolute ton of shots. I think we ended up having like 30 shots in the first, and only 13 or 14 of them got through because they were just throwing their body in front of everything. And we just kind of, I just said, let's just stick with the game plan here. We don't cheat. We don't, we don't change our game plan. I don't think they can match us for 60. And then the third period, we found our, our uh, we found the back of the net a few times there and, and were able to extend that lead. Is that patience easier said than done? Absolutely. You know, I think a little bit like that Glasgow game we played, like sometimes when you're dominating play, I think we had 22 minutes in the O zone tonight and only nine in the defensive zone. So anytime you can do that to a team and not get anything out of it, guys are going to get frustrated and maybe maybe err on the side of offense at times. And, and tonight we really, you know, we really tried to hammer that, that every goal matters in this aggregate competition. So let's make sure we, you know, it's a, it's a 120 minute game and right now going up four with 60 left is a, it's a good start. That Robert Dowd second goal wasn't bad, was it? Oh man, he was buzzing through the neutral zone there, wins the battle. Um, Dowdy played center for me tonight, first time since I've been here that he gave me a full game of center. He looked great. Again, he, he plays hard. He was good, on, good in the dot again tonight. Um, just pretty versatile guy and, and versatile group we have. You brought the young pups up as well. All three of them played this evening, uh, Graham, Shudra and Brandon Whistle. All played, all played great. Um, can't complain at all. You know, I think they all played some decent minutes as well, which is always nice to see, and, and uh, I was happy with all of them. Todd, did that one just get away from you in the uh, that short spell in the third period? Well, I mean, I thought that our guys uh, came uh, and competed well tonight. I I thought we stuck with uh, this this club for for a long time. We all, you know, the game plan was really to keep it tight, uh, get back to Kirkcaldy. I think a little bit of frustration seeped over towards the end, and they lost their composure. You know, it's down to part of the reasons why we're not having success as a club is that. Um, we're having a hard time wiping out a uh, number of individual errors. Um, as you can see there, it was just really two or three minutes where the game got away from us. Yeah, it was so close for so long and you must have been pleased after 40. Yeah, extremely pleased after 40. Um, you know, I think that uh, just leave with a bit of a bad taste in our mouth tonight, but uh, you know, we'll come back and we got games to look forward to on the weekend. Yeah, and Kakadi is a tough place for any team to go next Wednesday for the second leg. Yeah, of course, of course.